In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Divi's right-click controls. Just like any standard software application, when you right-click on something inside the Divi Builder, you're going to get a list of um, things you can do. Now, these right-click controls give you um, quick access to functions you may be already familiar with within the Builder, but it also lets you do a few new things as well. So you can right-click on modules, you can right-click on rows, and you can right-click on sections as well. And um, each of these have some different things you can do with them, um, and I'm going to go over each of those now. So when you right-click on a module, you'll see Rename, Save to Library, Undo, Disable, Lock, Copy, Paste, and Preview. Now, if you right-click on a row or section, you're going to get a different option called Collapse, and um, so I'll go over that as well. It only applies to rows and sections. So some of these you may already be familiar with, Rename and Save to Library. Rename will let you automatically um, change the name of the admin label. So before, you would have to, for example, open up the blurb settings, scroll down here, and change the admin label. And when you change that, it would update the label here, just um, so you can organize your builder a little bit more. Now, um, just to make it a little bit easier, you can now do that in right click. So if I choose rename, you could change it here. And when I save, you'll see that it's been updated. Next up, si save to library. This is also something um, you'll be familiar with. Um, usually, when you save to library, you have to do it from within the, the module settings here, save to library. Um, but you can also do it on right click and then uh, just like renaming something, it's just a little bit easier to do, gives you quicker access to this and you can save right to the library from right click. Next up is undo. So Divi comes with undo and redo controls. So whenever you make an action in the Divi Builder, you can undo that action all the way back to the beginning of um, the session that you started with. And you can also uh, redo when you undo something. Um, so there's standard undo and redo buttons here, as well as your whole history of actions. And you can click through to any of these states and go back in time and forward in time. Um, but you can also do that um, when you right click as well. So previously I deleted this blurb here. If I wanted to undo that action, I could do that. Actually, I renamed. So if I wanted to undo the renames I did, and I can keep undoing all the way back to the beginning when I first deleted that blurb. And if I change my mind, I can also redo. So you can redo by right-clicking as well, all the way back. Um, so if you made a mistake, or if you change your mind about that mistake, um, you can undo and redo from right-click. Next up is disable. Now, what this does is it um, retains the shortcodes uh, within the layout. So it will retain um, the things you built in the builder. For example, this row, when it's disabled, it'll still be here but it will no longer show up on the front end of your website. So if I were to view this page right now, you'll uh, recognize it as the Divi demo. And um, here are those blurbs that I was just showing you, that row. Um, if I change my mind and I, you know, I don't want to have this appear, maybe I'm still working on it, um, um, I'm not satisfied with it, but I'm not ready to delete it yet, um, I can just disable it. So I can come down here and I could just disable this whole row. And once it's disabled, you'll see that it, um, the opacity changed just to signify that that's um, a disabled section. And if I updated the page and viewed the page, you'll see that um, that section is gone now. So, But it's still there, so you don't lose your, your work. And if you ever change your mind, you can um, just come back here and re-enable it. So right-click on, right clicking on a disabled um, section will have an enable option instead. So I can enable that and then it's back. So this is particularly useful if you have maybe um, a special offer going on. Maybe you like to show the special offer just um, you know, a couple times a week or a month and you kind of want to enable it and disable it, but you don't, you don't want to delete it. Um, then that's particularly useful um, in that situation. So yeah, anything that you, you know, might want to show sometimes but not other times, um, you can just disable it and enable it instead of deleting it, which um, is a little bit more convenient. So next up, we have lock. Now, we made the lock option for a couple reasons. First of all, if you just kind of want to signify to yourself that you know this module's done, it's finished, I don't want to mess with it anymore, I don't want to accidentally edit it or delete it or anything like that, then you can lock something. And once something is locked, it can't be moved, 
or edited or deleted until it's unlocked. And you can unlock something by clicking the um, lock icon here or just right clicking and uh, choosing to unlock it. Um, but the main reason we made the lock op option isn't for yourself, but more for your clients. And so what this enables you to do is when you lock something as an admin, um, that item um, is completely locked for any um, other role within WordPress. So for example, let's say you built a website for your client and you have this page. It's a, you know, for a new person, the Divi Builder might be a little bit complicated to take in. And maybe your client wants to be able to edit your page and you're a little bit afraid to give them free reign over the builder. You just want them to be able to edit the things that um, they would want to edit, such as the text modules. Um, and you don't want them you know, messing with stuff, for example, like the portfolio modules. That might be a little bit more complicated for them um, to do. So what you could do is, you know, let's say you don't want them to edit this portfolio module. You could just lock this section. And then when your um, client logs in as an editor role or a contributor role, something other than admin within WordPress, they're going to see this lock section, but they're not going to be able to unlock it. That's completely locked for them. So that's the main function of the lock um, item on right click. It just locks that section, and once, it lock, once it's locked down, anyone that isn't an admin logging into your website, they can't uh, touch that area at all within the page. And like I said, you can also unlock stuff by just clicking this unlock icon. So that's quite useful for um, you know freelance developers and small uh, design agencies um, when collaborating with your clients and when you're giving them access to the page. Next up after lock is copy. So using right click, you can copy and paste things, which is extremely useful. And you can even copy and paste things between different posts and pages. So let's say, for example, you're starting a new page and you want to um, copy this section and then paste it on your new page. You can do that. You can just press copy, head on over to your other page, and then um, paste it right here. So you can see it's been pasted. Um, and depending on what you've copied, um, you're going to be able to paste it in different areas. So for example, if I were to copy this blurb, I'm not going to be able to paste that inside of a um, section. So I don't have any paste option here. But I can paste it inside of a, another uh, column. So I can paste that blurb there. And if I copy a row, for example, I could paste that row inside the section. And as I did before, if I copy a section, I can paste that after another section. So you can also copy things into um, blank columns. So if I copy this blurb, then you can paste it um, inside of a blank column like that. And like I said, you can also copy and paste things into new pages. So let's copy this section. And I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And then I'm going to paste after the section. And there we go. So in the past, um, the only way to do this was to save things to the library, then load them from the library. But we realized people were kind of using the library as a copy and paste mechanism. And then their library was getting kind of overloaded with things they really only wanted to use once. So if you want to copy something um, and paste it somewhere else, uh, using right click is definitely the best way to do it. And you can copy and paste within, within your own page or copy and paste between different pages. Next up is preview. So whenever you're editing um, a section or a module, you can preview it using this icon here. This is something um, that's uh, quite useful to do. We wanted to make that available um, and as easily accessible as possible. So just like we added rename and save to library to right click, we also added preview. So you can just right click and preview anything in the builder and skip right to this page, which is great. So the final option here is called collapse. And like I said, this is only available to rows and sections. And what it does is collapses the section down just to, you know, if your page is getting a little bit hard to comprehend and you um, <coughs> want to make it uh, easily, more easy to understand, either for you or your clients, you can collapse some sections down and maybe just keep the ones that you're working on open. And you can collapse rows as well. So uh, maybe you're done working with this and you want to collapse these, you can do that. And what's also great um, is you can combine this with lock. So let's say this is a page you're working on and you're handing it over to your client. 
and you don't want them to be able to edit anything except for, let's say, this text module. And that's kind of like the main content on the page, and everything else is more dyna dynamic, like it's a slider or a blog feed, something like that. Um, so you can cl collapse all this stuff, and then you can lock it too, which just kind of keeps the page a little bit more organized. You can lock everything down, and so on. And then when your you know, client sees the page, they're not going to be able to touch any of that stuff, and they can go straight to this text module and just edit that instead. So that's one way you can kind of combine lock and collapse, which I like to do. And then when anything has been collapsed, you just click that um, drop down arrow there, and that will expand it back to its original size. Yep, so that goes over each of the right click controls. Um, I would encourage everyone to use these because it will save you a ton of time. And it also um, adds a couple neat new functions to the builder that um, lock and disable um, as well as collapse.